Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at the Atlantic and the hurricane outlook. We've got some words to say about last night's live show. We've got a paper furthering the recognition of micronova events and one on ancient geomagnetic excursions. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that a mostly quiet day was actually broken this morning as an M-class solar flare erupted on the incoming limb. In the 193 angstrom view here, it's just a quick flash over to the left side, but in 94 angstroms, the event is much easier to see. Bigger flash due to higher EUV detection and coronal field disruption from the flare. This region is turning in to face the Earth in the coming days and will be monitored as it's the only worthy sunspot on the entire disk this morning. More is likely coming on the north from over the limb in the next day or two. The solar wind is amplifying, but very slowly. We don't have any level of geomagnetic disturbance at this time. We'll be anxious to see if the plasma speed shoots up today as NOAA predicted, and if we get any geomagnetic storms from it. Meanwhile, Erin here, the hurricane, has begun her northward turn, expected to hit major hurricane status once again as it passes close to the Carolinas. It'll be just the outer bands that make a mess there. But behind it, we have at least two more systems and maybe more. The Atlantic wave train is here and is expected to be sending low-pressure cells across the water for at least the next month. Eyes on it. Folks, last night was frustrating and preposterous. Didn't even make it three minutes into the live stream before they cut it off. What stinks most of all is it didn't even tell me at first on the screen, and so I went off with a six-minute machine gun speed answer on the big picture of Earth's disaster cycle. Would have loved to get that one recorded, because I'm not sure I could do it that well again. Freaking YouTube, man. Anyway, Solid paper up next here looking at smaller than supernova stellar blasts, and within it they have no issue suggesting that some of the less understood blasts may be micronova events. It is great to see the topic entering deeper into the field. Lastly, folks, a new paper is looking at the period from 70,000 years ago to 240,000 years ago and identifies several geomagnetic excursions during the time. Once you get back past the Greenland Sea and Vostok event 60,000 years ago, it gets very challenging to actually spot these events, so this team did an incredible job. They didn't catch all the cyclical events in that time period, but they got enough to confidently say that these events do keep happening. The cycle goes deeper into history than just the last 100,000 years, and these Magnetic pole shifts, these rapid excursions, happen quite often. Reminder, we are due now for the next one, and it has already begun. Folks, we've got two more Observer Ranch events in August here, two big ones next month as well. The Observer Meetup August 30th is an event for meeting other like-minded observers, networking, and community. Highly recommend the Pole Shift Conferences. Dr. Dunning will be coming to Founders Weekend, and October and November are jam-packed too. We'll get even busier on the books the next week. In addition to all of this, the documentary release premiere will likely be in November. Those finalized details are coming. Book your trip to come see us at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.